Continuing our Commitment 2018 coverage now, it is a packed race for the Assembly District 30 seat. District stretches from South Santa Clara County all the way to the end of Monterey County. We've got five candidates trying to replace Assemblywoman Ana Caballero, who's terming out and running for state Senate. Action News reporter Sierra Starks sat down with each of them. The race for the Assembly District 30 seat includes some more familiar faces in the political sphere and some political newcomers. Assembly District 30 covers a pretty big landmass, but if you ask Gilroy City Councilman Peter Laro Munoz, he says one of the biggest issues that connects the entire district is transportation. Our residents deserve a community where they're not having to sit in traffic for two hours just to get to work each and every day. I've worked on a lot of different transportation measures and issues uh, that are important for improving for road relief and road repair. And so that's something that I bring that's a unique skill set and something that really our residents are demanding in our community. Along with transportation needs, Leroy Munoz has also laid out public safety and job growth as priorities on his platform. Local gal just trying to work hard for them, for our community. Small business owner and Watsonville City Councilwoman Trina Kaufman Gomez says she wants to use her background in finance to revive the health of each economy of the district so they don't have to look elsewhere for a boost. We need to make sure that we're creating jobs here on a local basis so that we don't have to be on the road commuting and lose a quality of life by being on the road for three hours. That's really important. Also priorities on her platform, more housing and investing in transportation needs. They're not going to fix the roads. That's what they say. We've heard that bell ring a million times here. Speaking of transportation, political newcomer Neil Kitchen says he's not a fan of SB1, California's gas tax. Oh my goodness, no. I want to repeal it. Just think about it. When you're spending 25 to 30 percent more a week on gas, a single mother or a working family, that's the difference between uh, feeding your kids fresh fruits and vegetables or a McDonald's value meal. Kitchen says he'd rather use his experience in the property sector to offer incentives to developers to build homes in District 30 at a reasonable rate. Also on his radar, tackling homelessness and managing the area's forests. It's about making sure that we have an advocate and a representative in Sacramento that is going to fight for our communities. San Benito County Supervisor Robert Rivas was the only candidate we talked to that pushed for education as a priority. He's a professor at Gavilan College. The fact that our schools are always ranked towards the bottom of the list when it comes to state rankings. We need to change that. We need to prioritize education, making sure that our schools and our teachers and our students have the resources to be successful in the classroom. Rivas has also listed affordable housing, transportation, and farmers' rights as priorities. And I'm running for assembly because as a farmer, I know bull when I see it. With deep roots in the agricultural sector, Bill Leip says he sympathizes with the needs of this rural district. That said, one issue that's particularly important to him is immigration. Leip admits it's a federal issue, but he is in favor of helping California do what it can as a state to bring about immigration reform. I know there's a, a plenty of very good, hardworking people that deserve an opportunity to legitimize themselves here. They've been good. They've been good good neighbors, uh, valuable to our community, and they should have a chance to be able to establish residency here. LIPE has also prioritized affordable health care and building more workforce housing as items on his priority list. After weeks of campaigning, door knocking, and vying for votes, only the top two of these five candidates will make the cut in the primaries and then go head to head to represent District 30 in the State Assembly. Sierra Starks, KSBW Action News 8.